Good afternoon and welcome to the Irish Weather Network. I'm Carl. This chart is showing you the division between the warmer air over the mid Atlantic. We have Florida here, uh, the Madeira, Canaries, and the Mediterranean along here into the Persian Gulf. Uh, over here, Siberia, Scandinavia, Ireland and England, Iceland, Greenland, and the US of A. Now you can see the cold air right across the northern part of the Atlantic Basin. And this chart will show you three high pressure cells one Scandinavia, one near Svalbard, north of Norway, and over Greenland. And this is the result of the breakdown of the polar vortex from the southern stratospheric warming. So you're going to have a high pressure and the blocking highs up here, and they're going to have a steering influence of keeping the mild westerlies, southwesterlies, away from Ireland and England and heading everything into the Mediterranean. So when this happens, you're going to get your call there. So this is going to begin and commence for us tomorrow during Sunday afternoon. Now I'll run this chart on here and we can see where our cold air is going to come from and where it's going to go to. Obviously it's going to come right across Northern Europe into the UK first and then into Ireland. And if you go right through the week, we can see that the cold weather all the way from Siberia, right across the northern part of Europe, England, Ireland, reaches all the way over to Newfoundland and Canada. So it's really rare that you'd see this, the air is retrogressing, as you call it, back across the Atlantic from east to west. So it just shows you how powerful and potent that when they get these high pressures up here over in the northern parts of the northern blocking, what they can do, and they can push all this cold weather all the way over to towards the east coast of Canada and the US. So we have the cold air just on the doorstep of Ireland now. It's in reaching the east coast of the UK at the moment. When we come into Sunday morning, during Sunday afternoon, temperatures will actually start to drop, so it'll be actually colder on Sunday afternoon across the eastern half of the Ireland than it will be in the morning time. And this cold weather will gradually move westwards across to the air west coast by late on Sunday evening. So come Sunday night, we're going to be plunged into the, the beast from the east, if you want. It's going to commence. So we have showers that can be building across the Irish Sea and pushing onto the east coast any time after Monday afternoon. So as you can see now, we're... we're plunged into this cold air now coming right from Scandinavia and daytime temperatures are going to be in the low single figures and Monday is going to be bitterly cold, Tuesday be even colder and Wednesday be colder still. Winds might back from east into a southeast direction during Wednesday ahead of this front that's about to come in for Thursday which is going to bring a substantial period of snow which has been predicted now for the last four days. The only difference is between today and yesterday's charts is it's the, the snow from this could hit about 10 hours earlier during Thursday morning, mid-morning, and last right into Thursday evening. So I'll go into detail with that now. So here's the chart for Sunday morning. This is the precip chart. Now this will show you rain, sleet, snow, uh, predicted for areas along the eastern side of Ireland first. You see, there could be just a, little, a few wintry showers over the, the mountains of Wicklow and up over the Marne Mountains and County Down. These will be rain or sleet in the morning if they do fall at sea level, but during the afternoon they could be turning readily to sleet or snow. Well, today we've already had a hail shower in Dublin and it's only Saturday afternoon, so there's a bit of a wintry flavourness already starting to commence. But as we go through Sunday evening, you're going to have scattered flurries basically can appear anywhere along the eastern seaboard that's the eastern coast of northern ireland right down Lancaster's coast and probably appear along the south coast of ireland too it won't until monday that things really started to stabilize more over the Irish sea so you're going to have all these showers that will become heavier so convection will start to deepen over the Irish sea as the colder really cold upper temperatures traverses over this warmer sea surface temperatures below, destabilizes the atmosphere, and the resultant is heavy convective showers. So, because it's going to be bitterly cold overland and by the coast, these showers are going to be of snow. Now, these snow showers will have a bit of a wind behind them, 
and it can actually reach right across the Connacht. So anywhere is at risk from these showers in Leinster, parts of South Ulster, and moving into East Munster as well. It's just the nature of showers. They could be hit and miss. As I said yesterday, you could be down the road, you could be under a heavy snow shower, and, you know, five minutes up the road again, it could be dry. So that's the nature of showers, and we won't really know that until we know cast this. In other words, when we use the radar, and we see the showers building up over the Irish Sea and pushing inland. So as we go through Tuesday, you're going to have a period of heavy snow showers anywhere in Leinster. Um, right along the coastline and uh, pushing a little further inland. Now, things seem to die down on Wednesday as the wind started to back, and that's what usually happens now when a front starts to move in. Pressure rises a little bit, uh, dampens down convection ahead of a frontal system, which is now starting to appear on Thursday, early towards the morning uh, in Munster. And you actually see this uh, cold air is in place, so once this rain band hits the land, it's going to randomly turn to snow, and there's going to be over the reeks down here in Kerry that could be a substantial amount of snow. You could be talking about 20 25 centimeters of snow alone um, from this band. Obviously, the, the snow, snow tolls, I should say, is always higher over the uh, mountainous areas with the orographic lift. When we go through Thursday, we have the snow band now moving northeastwards across Ireland. And nowhere is going to escape from this. You could have a period of, it could be 10 hours snowfall in places. Um, and it could lead to 5 to 10 centimetres, probably minimum, uh, anywhere on the island. Always higher over the Comers down, Waterford down, and also we have the Wicklow Mountains and any mountainous areas that's over in Northern Ireland as well. It's going to get a good period of heavy snowfall from this. So this is now in the reliable time frame. It's almost certain that this will happen. It's timing now. Whether well, it's going to be early on Thursday, it's, if it's going to be pushed back, it's going to be later on Thursday or whatnot. So we just have to keep tuned to the forecast and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of warnings out for this one in particular. Now, with snow that's going to fall during the early parts of the week along the East Coast and anywhere in the Midlands, it's probably not going to thaw. It's probably going to just accumulate, and this is going to fall on top of that already. Exactly what happened in 2018 in Storm Emma, when we had a lot of snow in the east, and when Storm Emma hit, I came up from the south here, and the blizzards started to occur, it just accumulated on top of the snow that already fell. And we all seen that happen, what happened then, it was just paralyzed the country. So it's uh, interesting weather watching this week, but... We have to get the showers out of the way first, and they could be significant in nature because we don't know where they're going to hit. Uh, east always at risk, south at risk, probably little fringes of the north coast here at risk. But as we come closer to the time, and I'll even do a live update here on YouTube as well, um, Monday evening, um, we'll watch the radar and the showers building up over the Irish Sea as they come. And come move, and move inland off the Irish Sea, I should say. So I'll do another forecast tomorrow, Sunday, which is um, the beginning of the beast from the east. And it'll last right until at least Thursday, for now, with a good period of snowfall to parts of the country. And then after that, it seems like the Atlantic is going to break through. And also, there's his hints of more cold weather coming back in from the east in the early days of the following week. But I'll do my 10-day forecast on Monday. I'll do a forecast for the whole week tomorrow, and then I'll actually issue some weather watches or warnings myself if I see there's uh, enough data there to warrant. But uh, it's going to be bitterly cold. The wind chill as well as another factor. Uh, like if you're going to have uh, air temperatures of 1 degree and a wind blowing at 30 kilometers an hour, well, it's going to feel like minus 7 or minus 8. So wind chill is always a factor for yourself and uh, for pets in nature as well. So just just be wary and uh, mindful of that. All right, if you like the channel, hit that like button, subscribe as well. I always make content like this. And no matter where you are, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.